In this video, we'll show you how to compute a vertical transect from FVCOM data using PyTechPlot, our Python API. A vertical transect is a 2D plane that follows a prescribed path through the data and is projected vertically from the surface to the bottom. We start with an FVCOM dataset already loaded. This dataset is of the Salish Sea, extending from British Columbia and down into Washington State. First, we need to define the path of our transect. To do this, select the Polyline Geometry tool. Using the Geometry tool, click on Locations to define the path of the transect. Here, we'll define a path from the Strait of Juan de Fuca, through the San Juan and Gulf Islands, and up to the mouth of the Fraser River. Then, right-click on the Geometry to extract the points. This will create a new zone called Extracted Points, which defines the XY coordinates to use for the transect. It is important to ensure that there are enough XY points to effectively capture the density of the grid. By turning on Scatter for the extracted points, and turning on Mesh for the solution data, we can see that the density of XY points is sufficient for our grid. Too many points is better than too few points, as you want to ensure you don't skip over too many cells. This will result in a good, continuous transect. Now that we have the XY points defined by the extracted points zone, we can invoke the PyTechPlot script. To do this, we must first allow PyTechPlot connections via scripting PyTechPlot connections. Now you can run the vertical transect Python script from a command prompt. Using Python O will run the script in optimized mode, which will improve performance. This script will connect to TechPlot360, find the zone called Extracted Points and use the XY points to define a vertical surface zone through the volume, which defines the shape of the transect. The solution variables are then interpolated from the solution data onto the transect zone at each time step. This dataset has 24 time steps, with approximately 140,000 elements per time step. Now that we have the result, we can animate through time with the two frames linked together. If you have a specific transect path, you can easily modify the script to supply a specific set of XY points. This concludes the tutorial for computing a vertical transect in TechPlot360. Thank you for watching.